In a time where journalists and media professionals worldwide are being persecuted, the TTPB notes the link between journalism and freedom and the importance of maintaining press freedom. Noting the challenges faced by media professionals around the globe was feature speaker, former CNN international correspondent Jim Clancy. This year so far, 10 journalists have died. The International Press Institute, that's from CPJ. The International Press Institute says it's more like 13. And that's confirmed that it was linked to journalism. You know, not just people who might have died in an auto accident. Uh, we look at it in the last dozen years, more than a thousand journalists have died. It's more dangerous than it's ever been. Mr. Clancy went one step further to recognize the trials faced by female journalists in particular. Just the, the sheer amount of harassment against women journalists is intolerable. And we as men who are journalists, we have to stand with them 100%. I mean, we get harassed, we get criticized, but it's nothing like the women face. Nothing. Because it's sexual harassment. It's slurs from anonymous sources. And it's not to be tolerated. I, you know. Commenting on the present state of media worldwide and the dangers faced by journalists, President of the Trinidad and Tobago Publishers and Broadcasters Association, Darren Leasing, acknowledged that Trinidad and Tobago has so far been fortunate. Trinidad and Tobago continues to be blessed with an independent media, a strong and robust fourth estate, for which we must be grateful. Let this occasion serve as a reminder to us, the publishers and broadcasters, that we are accountable to the citizenry and we must never compromise ourselves as we pursue the truth and report and comment on the facts. Both men reminded that access to information is a fundamental freedom and is everyone's right. The late Patrick Chocolingo, the founder of The Bomb, The Sunday Punch and The Mirror, Isaac Radio's Dr. Margaret Elcock and media mogul Anthony Chowlinon, who's also known as Chinese Laundry, were the three honorees at the 2016 TTPB Awards for their innovation and dedication to building the industry. They joined the ranks of former recipients Keith Smith, Therese Mills, and Lord Superior. Stacey Ann Providence, C News.